First, first one I was a student. What's that book on the table? Well, that, that one's about business strategy. That one was a response to the fact that I had read so many books on strategy that made it seem terribly complicated. Mm. And maybe I'm very simple and maybe I don't understand it, but it didn't seem very complicated to me. So I wrote the book that I wanted to read. Mm. Um, that was that one. First one I was on a, a research grant from the Social Sciences Research Council after I'd graduated, and it was just a, a paid piece of work and it inspired me. I rather like writing, I found it very easy. So the others were just things in between. The latest one, which is coming out in May, I think, is about successful meetings. And I was commissioned to write that by um, Hodder and Stoughton. It's quite funny, they rang and said, we'd like you to write a book in our In A Week series, like Management In A Week, Leadership In A Week. And I said, sure, which one? And they said, successful meetings in a week. And I said, and how long do I have to write it? And they said, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and I was washing my hair one of those days, so it was written in about a week. Uh, <laughs> the hair thing keeps coming back. It does. It's a recurring <laughs> theme for that. It's not that I'm bothered. <laughs> so I do you have, do you have any advice fun. on people writing a book? I yeah. mean, do you? Do, uh, what well, you've you say? written one. Mm. Mm -hmm. People say, "How do you write a book?" And the answer is, "You write a book." And I've never seen it as more complicated than mm. that. Yeah. Um, that one, I drew a mind map and I wrote the book, and it. it Mm. Sounds very glib put that way. But, um, but do you write as you would speak? Do you write in a conversational that, style? That one is very conversational. Mm. Um, the, the latest one is very conversational. Some of them have probably had more... Yeah, some are more boring. And those are quite conversational. Uh, I do some editing afterwards, but um, I find writing extremely easy. Mm. I'm lucky. It's just been very easy. Mm. Mm. That's the advice. Mm. If you've got something to write about, write it, edit it afterwards, or find a good editor who will mm. restructure it for you. Mm. It's not that difficult. We were watching an, mm. um, a, a speech today or a conversation. It was very much like this. It was a panel discussion mm. uh, with Seth Godin and Tom Peters. And Seth was talking about blogging. And he was saying the, re the, the really important thing about blogging is not how many people read it, it's actually the impact it has on the blogger. Mm. Uh, uh, to more. articulate the thoughts and to kind of um, you know get get this way of being reflective about things and being curious about things. To, or to in my case, a rant. Things. I mean, some of my blogs yeah. are a rant. Mm. I have something I want to get off my chest, and have, having written it down, I feel a great deal better. Mm. But we often think that you know if our blog isn't read by thousands of people, it's worthless. But it actually is very important for the the teller. Well, if so I get one that's comment that's on three blogs, I'm happy mm. that, yeah. because that's not why I do it. Mm. It's therapy. Mm. But that's, that's